When rosy fingered morn had tinged the clouds, around their monarch mouse the nation crowds, slow rose the monarch, heaved his anxious breast, and thus, the council filled with rage, addressed for lost Sycarpax much my soul endures, tis mine the private grief, the public, yours three warlike sons adorn my nuptial bed, three sons, alas, before their father dead our eldest perished by the ravening cat, as near my court the prince unheedful sate. Our next, an engine fraught with danger drew, the portal gapped, the bait was hung in view, dire arts assist the trap, the fates decoy, and men unpitying killed my gallant boy the last, his country's hope, his parents pride, plunged in the lake by Physigmathus, died rouse all the war, my friends. Avenge the deed, and bleed that monarch and his nation bleed. His words in every breast inspired alarms, and careful Mars supplied their host with arms in verdant hulls despoiled of all their beans, the buskined warriors stalked along the plains, quills aptly bound, their bracing corslet made, fact with the plunder of a cat they flayed, the lamps round boss affords their ample shield, large shells of nuts their covering helmet yield, and o'er the region, with reflected rays, Tall groves of needles for their lances blaze dreadful in arms the marching mice appear the wandering frogs perceive the tumult near, forsake the waters, thickening form the ring, and ask, and hearken, whence the noises spring. When near the crowd, disclosed to public view, the valiant chief Ambasitrose drew the sacred herald scepter gracked his hand, and thus his words expressed his king's command, ye frogs. The mice with vengeance furred, advance and decked in armor shake the shining lance, their hapless prince by Physignathus slain, extends incumbent on the watery plain then arm your host, the doubtful battle try, lead forth those frogs that have the soul to die the chief retires, the crowd the challenge here, and proud lay swelling, yet perplexed appear, much they resent, yet much their monarch blame, who rising, spoke to clear his tainted fame O oh friends, I never forked the mouse to death nor saw the gaspings of his latest breath. He, vain of youth, our art of swimming tried, and ventrous, in the lake the wanton died to vengeance now by false appearance led, they point their anger at my guiltless head but wage the rising war by deep device, and turn its fury on the crafty mice your king directs the way, my thoughts elate with hopes of conquest, form designs of fate, where high the banks their verdant surface heave, and the steep sides confine the sleeping wave, there, near the margin, and in armor bright, sustain the first impetuous shocks of fight then where the dancing feather joins the crest, let each brave frog his obvious mouse arrest, each strongly grasping, headlong plunge a foe, till countless circles whirl the lake below, down sink the mice and yielding waters drowned, loud flash the waters, echoing shores resound the frogs triumphant tread the conquered plain, and raise their glorious trophies of the slain he spake no more. His prudent scheme imparts redoubling ardor to the boldest hearts. Green was the suit his arming heroes chose, around their legs the greaves of mallows close, green were the beats about their shoulders laid, and green the colwort, which the target made formed of the varied shells the waters yield, their glossy helmets glistened o'er the field, and tap rang sea reeds for the polished spear, with upright order pierced the ambient air thus dressed for war, they take th appointed height, poise the long arms, and urge the promised fight. But now, where Jove's irradiate spires arise, with stars surrounded in ethereal skies, a solemn council called, the brazen gates unbar, the gods assume their golden seats the sire's super rear leans, and points to show what wondrous combats mortals wage below how strong, how large, the numerous heroes stride, what length of lance they shake with warlike pride what eager fire, their rapid march reveals, so the fierce centaurs ravaged o'er the dales, and so confirmed, the daring titans rose, heaped hills on hills, and bid the gods be foes this scene, the power his sacred visage rears, he casts a pitying smile on worldly cares, and asks what heavenly guardians take the list, or who the mice, or who the frogs assist, then thus to Pallas, if my daughter's mine have joined the mice, why stays she still behind drawn forth by savory steams they wind their way, and sure attendance round thine altar pay, where while the victims gratify their taste, they sport to please the goddess of the feast thus spake the ruler of the spacious skies, when thus, resolved, the blue aid mage replies in vain, my father, all their dangers plead, to such, 
Thy palace never grants her aid my flowery wreaths they petulantly spoil, and rob my crystal lamps of feeding oil. Ills following ills, but what afflicts me more, my veil, that idle race profanely tore the web was curious, wrought with art divine, relentless wretches. All the work was mine. Along the loom the purple warp I spread, cast the light shoot, and crossed the silver thread, in this their teeth a thousand breaches tear. The thousand breaches skillful hands repair, for which vile earthly duns thy daughter grieve, and gods, that use no coin, have none to give and learning's goddess never less can know, neglected learning gets no wealth below nor let the frogs to gain my succor sue, those clamorous fools have lost my favor too. For late, when all the conflict ceased at night, when my stretched sinews worked with eager fight, when spent with glorious toil, I left the field and sunk for slumber on my swelling shield, low from the deep, repelling sweet repose, with noisy croakings half the nation rose devoid of rest, with a king brows I lay, till cocks proclaimed the crimson dawn of day let all, like me, from either host forbear, nor tempt the flying furies of the spear let heavenly blood, or what for blood may flow adorn the conquest of a meaner foe, who, wildly rushing, meet the wondrous odds, though gods oppose and brave the wounded gods, or gilded clouds reckland, the danger view, and be the wars of mortal scenes for you so moved the blue-eyed queen, her words persuade, great Jove assented, and the rest obeyed.